Hey guys, so I have a little bit of an unboxing to do. I got a giant box from Amazon and stuff and just two books that I bought by myself. So I'm going to get right into it and look. Okay, so the first book I bought on my own at Target is Rift by Andrew Greenham. This is the Nightshade prequel, first book in that, I guess, series thing, and it looks really good. So, yeah. I also got Black Dawn by Rachel Kane, which is the Morgan Mill Vampires, um, number 12, I think. I got this before Christmas, but I never included it in the haul, so I thought I'd put it in now. Okay, I was smart enough to open this off camera, but I think this first time I'm opening it. Up. So, woot woot. These are seafoam. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right in here and just take out the first thing I think. So, I got The List by Simone Vivian. I don't really know. But um, I wanted this book for a while. It's basically about this, like, high school class that, like, they put out um, a list of, like, eight girls, like, one from each class. And, um, there's, like, one is the ugliest, one's the prettiest for each grade, and, yeah, it's the story of that and a bunch of other stuff, and it looks like a good coming-along lesson kind of thingy, so I'm really interested to see how she does it, so who took that? The next book I have, I see, is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, which is Shatter Me Book 2. I'm not a big fan of cover change. I just don't like cover changes in general, but this one is okay, and it has duckled edges, so it's okay in that book. So which that one looks pretty, so we'll see how. I like this book, and it's a lot longer than the first one, so we'll see how this all goes along. Okay, Defiance by C.J. Redwine, and I know it's kind of a dystopian kind of thing. It's about a girl looking for a father, and her father just comes and helps look for her or something. And it looks really good. So, yeah. Okay. Altered by Jennifer Rush. Yeah. So, this looks really good. It's about this girl who, like, her dad is, like, cr creating or modifying, like, for, kids, for people. And she ends up falling for one of them and ends up trying to escape and never come back by her father's orders. So, it looks pretty good. Now this one, Ryan from Ryan Reads Books got me really excited about in his Looking Forward to releases in 2013. It's called The Madman's Daughter, and it's by Megan Shepherd, and it's the first book in the series of something which called something. And it looks really good. It's like a retelling of like the island of Doctor What's his name? I have no clue, but it's basically about this girl that flees her father's death to find out he's been creating apes to mimic humans, and she has to go figure out what the crap's going on with him. This one's I've been really excited about for a while. Um, it's Splintered by A.G. Howard. Yeah, A.G. Howard. And I'm really looking forward to this ever since I saw an arc from Bookwire Review Brad. And yeah, I have a link to these people that I'm mentioning down below, by the way. And I just the cover too and I'm like it's like a modern day she's basically a descendant of Alice who from Alice in Wonderland and she has to go through like these tests and Wonderland's not as pretty as everyone believes and like the character painted it so woot woot to that. The next one I got just came out today so I'm really really happy I got and it's called The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mee which is the third book in the Bloodline series which is the book series after the Empire Academy so you need to read the Empire books. Vampire Academy books 1 through 6, then the Bloodlines 1 through 2 before you can read this. But it's a really good series, and I love Sydney, and the ending of the other book just got killed me. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So, woot woot. I've been saying woot woot a lot, by the way. And this box is really big. Okay, and the last book in the box, as you can kind of tell, it, this book's in the box is giant. Um, is one I've been looking forward to for a while, and it's been out for, like, a really long time, but I just never picked it up, I don't know why, and it is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Now, I read Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, and I absolutely loved it, so I don't know why I never picked up Delirium, but, you know, with Requiem coming out soon-ish, I don't know, I just felt the pull, and I got it for, like, $9.99, so I'm, like, for a hardcover, yeah, that's happening, so... Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, that is the last book in this haul. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, bye.